Hello everyone, I'm Father Andrew. It's uh, lovely to see you again and listen together uh, today's Holy Gospel. Uh, today, uh, 31st of July, we celebrate St. Ignatius of uh, Loyola, priest. So, uh, we have uh, the memorial uh, service. Uh, Ignatius of Loyola was uh, born in 1491 at Loyola in the north of Spain. Of a, a courtly family, he became a soldier. But during convalescence from a wound, was uh, converted to a deep love of uh, Christ and a missionary sense. He studied theology in Paris with the companions. He formed the Society of Jesus to resist the Protestant Reformation, to reform the church from within, and to educate the young in a religion. He died in 1556 at Rome. So how gracious uh, to remember him, uh, what he had about Jesus' love, his passion, his uh, all ability uh, for the love of Jesus Christ. So we thank God because God sent us many, many holy men and holy women for the uh, salvation of the world. We know very well why God sent us many saints. The reason is to love more, more, more Jesus Christ. Accept, surrender to Him. For this reason, God sent us many holy men and, and holy women. Now, we have a look together uh, today's Holy Gospel. For this reason, today's Holy Gospel is uh, uh, Luke uh, chapter 14, verse 25 uh, to 33. Great crowds accompanied Jesus on his way, and he turned and spoke to him, If any man comes to me without hating his father, mother, wife, children, brothers, sisters, yes, and his own life too. He cannot be my disciple. Anyone who does not carry his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. And indeed, which of you here, intending to build a tower, would not first sit down and work out the cost to see if he had enough to complete it? Otherwise, if he laid the foundation and then found himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers would all start making fun of him and saying, Here is a man who started to build and was unable to finish it. Or again, what king uh, marching to war against another king would not first sit down and consider whether with 10,000 men, he could stand up to the other who advanced against him with 20,000? If not, then while the other king was still a long way off, he would send envoys to sue for peace. So, in the same way, none of you can be my disciple unless he gives up all his possessions. As a Saint Ignatius of Loyola, we would like to do. We want to be uh, Jesus' uh, disciples. But it's not easy to, you know, the, to be or to become as a, you know, the disciples. You know why? Because sometimes we have a lot of things. We cannot uh, give up for the love of Jesus Christ. In uh, uh, the Gospel of Matthew uh, said, If you love uh, your family more than Jesus Christ, you cannot be my disciples, he said. Look, it's very stressful. Uh, you know, stressed more and more times means you hate 
your family members. Wow, this is so shocking for us. How can we, you know, the, uh, uh, hate uh, our family? No, that is impossible. But we know very well, Jesus Christ stressed it's very important. More than me, you need to follow, you need to love Jesus Christ. For this reason, Jesus said, anyone who does not carry his cross and come after me cannot be my disciples. We know very well this is a beautiful cross, but who died on the cross uh, without any sin, but he died for me and for you to give us everything, especially eternal life. And no finish there, this cross. But from here, he rose again. So his resurrection is a fundamental of our faith. So how gracious give up for the love of Jesus Christ. It is so important surrender to him in his name. In the name of Jesus Christ. I know physically speaking, we cannot give up everything. But Jesus Christ tells us, if you want to be my disciple, give up anything and follow me. Anyone who does not carry his cross and come after me cannot be my disciples. We need to think about what is our cross, what is my cross and your cross or crosses. How many times we wanted to give up our cross? This cross would be difficulty or problem or would be our status or our capacity or what we have money, or talent, or capacity, many other things. Not just the good things, but obviously the cross indicates uh, more negative things. Probably somebody you hate, or somebody hate you. That is, would be the one of the cross. It is important that we give up everything, we accept this cross, and my cross and follow in Jesus' name. Believe in the name of Jesus Christ. Ignatius, the same. He had done everything for the love of Jesus Christ. We can do it. So in the same way, none of you can be my disciple unless he gives up all his possessions. We are ready to give up all our possessions. What would be? My life. My life in the name of Jesus Christ. It's impossible for you, isn't it? It's impossible for me. Yeah, I'm sure. But we know very well God wants always your heart and my heart. Not our money or our capacity, our intelligence or our you know, the, uh, passion or etc. But God wants my heart and your heart. So how many times Jesus said, Give me your heart. Saint Ignatius of Loyola, finally, he gave his heart in the name of Jesus Christ. That meaning is so important. Why not? We give up, give up. We give up our heart in the name of Jesus Christ. And finally, we are all his lovely disciples. My dear brothers and sisters, this time is a so great time because we are listening. The word of God. 
Because we believe, we confess, Jesus is our Lord. So why not we ask in His name? Because we want to be always good and well in this beautiful new day. God, which God give us with this blessing, may we have a lovely and beautiful time and beautiful day. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.